Hey, Wasabi, Operation Hydroid here, and this is my PSX for All request series where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for All. These games are taken by request, so if you would like to request a video, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is how to get Parasite Eve on PSX for all. Okay, so to get this to work, we're going to need three things. The first one being PSX for all, the actual PlayStation 1 emulator, and the application that we're going to use to play the game. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the left or a link in the description. We'll also need iFile, file browsing system, which we'll use to put the game in the right place. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the right and a link in the description. And lastly, we'll need Safari Download Enabler. And to get that, you'll have to go into Cydia, then into the search tab and search Safari Download Enabler. It's the first tweak. It's completely free, so go ahead and install that. Now, to get the actual game, we're going to have to go into Safari. Now, this is the iPhone's native Safari app, so go into that. When it loads, we're going to go into the URL and search coolrom.com, just as I am typing it here. Now, when you search coolrom.com, it will automatically redirect you to their mobile website, which is fine because their mobile website is very easy to use. And in my opinion better than their regular website so as you can see we have two easy choices emulators or ROM files we are going to click ROM files now this will bring down a list of all the emulators that they have ROMs under so we're going to scroll down looking for a Sony PlayStation because that's the system that we're trying to get games on so when you find it click on it now this will load you to their next page which where they have all their ROMs under the Sony PlayStation very well organized as you can see here with top 25 downloaded, top 25 rated and browse by letter. So we are going to browse by letter because we are looking for Parasite E. Not a very popular game but a good game in my opinion and I think you guys would enjoy playing this game too. So P for Parasite E. Now this will load all their ROMs starting with the letter P as you can see here so now I'm gonna scroll down looking for my game that I wanna get so passed right by it and here it is Parasite Eve Disc 1 so we're gonna get the first disc before we get the second disc so basically how you load from one disc to the other is that you click on Parasite Eve Disc 1 and when you're finished playing Disc 1 go ahead and install this too but make sure that you save in the actual game and then load this too alright so as you can see this is a very well designed page with two screenshots the file name file size the amount of downloads and its rating so as you can see a very good rating for a very good game so when you scroll down to the bottom you're going to see a download now button that is the download link so go ahead and click on that now you will know that your download has commenced because at the top the URL the URL will now change to a download bar. Now this will show you the amount of megabytes being downloaded over the amount of megabytes to be downloaded. So when that is done I will be back. When it is done loading the contents you should get a screen like this. So from this screen what we're going to do is that we're going to extract the .bin file. And to do this, we're going to click on the .bin file, and you know you've clicked it because there will be a red check mark on the left, and it will be highlighted. Then, to extract it, we're going to click on the box with the arrow pointing up at the bottom right, and then click Extract File. Now, this will unpack the file and extract it to the PSX directory. Now, again, this might take 2-5 to five minutes, so I will be back when it is done. So, you will know that it's done ex extracting when the prompt fades away, the red check mark is gone, and the highlight. So, we're going to go ahead and click done at the top right. And as you can see, Parasite Eve disk 1.bin is now in the PSX directory. So, we can delete Parasite Eve disk 1.7z. So, just swipe to the right, 
click delete and now this will move the file to the trash and won't delete it so to permanently delete it and get your memory back click on the edit on the top right the trash can on the bottom and empty trash as you can see it says the trash was successfully emptied and we can click close done at the top right and now we can go home and play our game now before we play you're gonna wanna check that PSX for all is not in the multitasking bar so as you can see I do not have it here that is good so if you do have it there go ahead and click so then open PSX for all when it opens you will find that your parasite eve disk one.bin file is now in the PSX for all folder so to play just go ahead and click on it and you can play in any orientation that you would like but me personally I like to play in portrait and sound but for video purposes I will play with portrait and no sound so you will see that it runs smoothly and I hope you guys have fun playing Parasite Eve Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'd like to start off by saying if you would like to see this game in action more than you just saw running at completely at 100% then click on the Fix Inc. 101 gameplay, he's a good friend of mine and he did a gameplay on this game. And at the top I have a couple of videos that you might enjoy and if this helped you please subscribe for more cool videos and updates and if it helped leave a like.